Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be looking into critical part in project management. So in project management, the critical part is the longest sequence of tasks that must be completed to execute a project. So the tasks on the critical part are called as critical activities because if they are delayed, the whole project completion will be delayed. So why this critical part? What is the need of using the longest part to work on a project? So the reason to use the longest part to work on the project is that it gives us a buffer on any of the delays that happen on the project. And not just that, it is also going to help us estimate the correct project duration. So if you look into the critical part, this technique is used by project managers to create an accurate project schedule. This method is also known as critical path analysis, wherein we basically look into the project and see what can be the feasible path to work on a project. Now, with that, let's see how critical path is going to be helpful for us. So the first thing, it is going to accurately estimate the total project duration. Second, it is going to estimate the time that is necessary to complete that project task. Third, it is going to identify the critical activities which must be completed on time and require close supervision. So that means you really have to look into those tasks closely and supervise them efficiently. Fourth, it is going to find out which project task can be delayed without affecting the project schedule by calculating the time for each and every task. Now, whenever you are in a delay, critical part is where you really have to look into and see what all activities you can probably work on at a later point in time. Fifth, it is also going to identify task dependencies, resource constraints, and project risk. Sixth, it is also going to prioritize tasks and create realistic project schedules. So in short, critical path method plays an important role in finding out what can be done with the project if your project is in delay. Also, it gives you a clear vision as to what all activities you can probably work on at a later point in time. Now, let's quickly look into what exactly happens in a critical path. So, we will be looking into the Microsoft project and see where you can find the critical path. The task bar in the Gantt chart can be formatted to visually draw attention to a group of tasks or individual task bars. The most common usage for this is to highlight the critical path task initiative. The tools to format the task bar are in the Format tab. So if you go to the Format tab, in the bar style here, we have a checkbox called Critical Path. The moment you check this box, it is going to show up the critical task. So that means when I turn it on, you can see this in your Gantt chart that all the critical path tasks now have a pink color and it is now very easy to see the path they take. The pink color and taskbar shape is the default that is configured for us by project. If you want to customize the critical task path, let us see an example. First, we click on the format button, the Gantt chart format, and then we go to the format button. Here we have two options, bar and bar style. We chose bar style. And the bar style dialog box opens up. We can scroll down to the critical and select it. So a quick point to note, 
The critical path option will not be available to you in this list unless the critical task checkbox is turned on, like we did just now. Now, once we have selected the taskbar name, we can format it. To understand how it works, we need to understand that the taskbar is divided into three components. The start portion, the middle portion and the end portion. And it is possible to customize all three parts. So, all the three parts can have a custom shape and color. Currently, the start has no associated shape. So, I'll add one. Let's look into the middle portion. I'll change the color to a red. And finally, for the second portion, I'll select the same shape as the star portion, which I have selected in the shape. Now, the nice thing is that we are making these changes and we can see a live preview up in the listing. So now, look what has happened. The Gantt chart will reflect these changes that we have just made. You can also see that the other task bar are still in the same color. So that means they have been left unmodified just as we intended.